Hey guys, so the symptom on this Saturn view, and this is an 04 or 05, I believe it's an 05, I'm not sure, but there's really no difference. Basically, the gear shift just fell loose, and we were in first gear when it happened. <clears throat> we could move the car, luckily, but so here's that was kind of the symptom. And what has happened in this car is a piece has broken down underneath that the shifter shaft actually goes into, and it's this right here. This is a fairly common problem, and there's two of these down in there, but it's this this one on the right-hand side, I'll show you in a second, is the typical failure. So where my thumb is right there, uh, that's where the shaft of the gear shift goes into, and then as you shift back and forth, it moves the cable, which I, so we'll take a look here. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to go into too much detail because there's a couple videos on how to disassemble this, but you basically uh, this black trim all this part just pulls off with your hand really and you can just pull this back and there's a few cables that hook onto here like these cable harnesses for electric windows if you have those but what you're after is this right here and this is the broken piece and this little shiny piece is the end of the gear shift knob that I'm moving right there and so I'm going to give you some tips on how to replace this part because there's a lot of videos that said you need to replace this, but it doesn't tell you exactly how to do it or how hard or how easy it is. And if you look at this one, it's actually this long, right? So you're only seeing half of it. So the first tip is um, maybe you can use your hand or maybe not to get this thing to shift forward because it will actually slide forward to make it easier to reach. Mine will not move. My This car is hard to shift anyway, and I'll probably lube it up with something. But I'm going to show you under the hood. So note its location right there. We can just about see where the green dot is. Uh, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you up underneath the hood where these cables go to. So I am on the driver's side coming in at uh, uh, the master cylinder here. <clears throat> And stuff but if you look down in here you can see the two cables there's a black one and a white one right there and to move it <coughs> reach down in here you can see that and what we're after is this black one it's just the same color as the one that's in the console pull that towards you and you I think you basically put the car in fourth gear it moves back and forth fairly easy um, and if we go back inside Now you can see that it's been pushed, pulled forward, right? So it'll be much easier to get to, much easier to replace. Now, um, the other part is you look at that and you go, how do you get that out of there? Well, all you need to do is pull, pull this tab out, use a screwdriver or something to lift this up, and it's going to pop up and release, and it'll pull right off of that cable. And here's what it looks like. So here's the replacement part, and you can see this one's already pushed up. So your cable is would go right into this, just like just like that one down there. So it goes right into the end. And pay attention to where your cable is, right? If there's if there's any sticking out right here, like any threads, you want to put you want to have the same amount of threads showing so that you know it's if it's adjusted correctly for the same length. And um, so on the one that's in there, you're going to pop this up. And then it should lift off because it's, it's detached. So, um, real quick, what I did is I took this small flathead screwdriver and just pried up right here, uh, twisting it, and it popped right off. So, uh, let's see what happens. Uh, for one thing, it slides back in there, but I think this should... Well, <laughs> it's down in there somewhere, but it's off. So now you can see uh, the threads right there. And those threads, you can see where they sit in this right here. So you're going to put uh, this guy right on like that. And that's this is where I said right here is a kind of a window on this thing. So you can see the threads that you have sticking out before you take it off. So you know exactly where to put it. On mine, the, the tip of this thing was just about right there at this little hole. So that's where I'm going to put it back in there. I can't do it one-handed. Uh, 
but I think you get the gist of it. So you, you just pop this up right here at this corner, and it for mine with this flathead screwdriver, it came it came right up. So it's pretty much that simple, and then we'll put this thing back together. I think I'll do a separate video on the other side. It's not broken right now, and I'm running out of daylight. So there we go. Just a little add-on tip. I hope these things help. So I slid the new piece on, um, so it's all installed, and now I got to get the little ball part down into that part. And what, for what I'm, for, from what I have read and seen on videos, uh, people have just been kind of uh, pushing it in there, really. So positioning the shifter cable, this piece, underneath it, and then kind of snapping it in there, and that seems to work okay. You can disassemble that if you look at my old one. That's the part that came out. That whole piece right there is just gone. I'm assuming it broke or popped out or whatever, but that's why I quit shifting. So I'm just going to pop this one down in there. Uh, pop this little silver ball down into that hole, and we should be good. Uh, I, once again, I can't do it while holding the phone, but I, I, you know, I'll explain it once I get it done. Okay, so basically what I did is I positioned, you can see it's on, in there now, right? I positioned the uh, gear shift above that and then reached my hand down in there and, and just pushed it up and it popped right in. Actually, it popped in so easy, I can see why they pop out. But uh, I think, I haven't actually tried it. Let's see if the whole thing works. Sorry, plastic piece is still on it. But you can tell it's shifting now. So it goes over to first. Sorry, guys. Okay. First, second, third, and fourth. It's really stiff and hard to shift, so I'm hoping to lubricate that here before I finish. But that is it. And that is replacing that piece, and it was pretty simple. It took, I don't know, if I wasn't actually recording this, it probably would have taken 10 minutes. Uh, uh, including taking this, this piece off. And there's a little tray that goes right here, sitting right over there. It has four screws in it. That took longer to do than uh, just replacing the part. So once again, guys, I hope this is, you find this helpful. And I'll try to get some more stuff out there. But every, when I do this, it's because one of my cars is broke. <laughs> so uh, hopefully I don't have to do it too often. See you guys next time.